welcome to my first spotlight video. I should warn you in advance that at the time of this recording I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I apologize if I don't sound up to par sometimes. But with that out of the way, let's jump into the hero spotlight for Paragon's newest hero, Revenant. First, we'll be going through the basics of his abilities and their official descriptions, then going through my description of them and whatever tips and whatnot I have afterwards. Revenant's right click is Hellfire Rounds, with both a passive and an active. For its passive, Revenant's last round in the chamber deals bonus ability damage. Its active is Revenant reloads four bullets into the hand cannon. Revenant's Q is Obliterate. Revenant unleashes 10 ethereal missiles at home to random targets within a wide cone dealing damage. Revenant's E is Scar. Scar the enemy for 5 seconds. The next instances of damage from Revenant trigger bonus ability damage. Last but not least, Revenant's ultimate is Reckoning. Revenant pulls himself and his target into the Nether Realm, dealing damage. Killing his opponent inside the Nether Realm grants bonus card experience. Now let's get into the details of Revenant and little tips I've picked up on. You might have noticed that his auto attacks function a lot like Jin from League of Legends. The main difference is that his final shot isn't a crit, it's bonus ability damage, which means he can crit on top of that. Also his last shot applies an extra tick of damage to things like wards and Iggy's turrets, but no extra damage to towers. As I stated before, his Q hits random enemies in front of him, so it's extremely ineffective against more than one target early on. It's far more useful when you're only facing one enemy hero or have them in your ult. There isn't really much to say about his E besides the fact that it adds the same amount of damage to your next attacks no matter what they are. It's flat extra damage for a certain amount of hits from either auto attacks or your Q. There's also very little to be said about his right click, besides the fact that it takes no mana so it can be done as often as you need. There's a lot to discuss about his ult, however. This is going to be your main way of getting ahead of everyone else. At level 1, it gives you 600 extra card experience if the person you used it on is killed, 800 at level 2, and 1000 at level 3. When you use it, you disappear for everyone else, including turrets. The enemy you mark, however, stays visible and can be shielded and healed by their team, but can also be hit by your own teammates. It also doesn't matter who gets the kill. If they die in your role, you get the extra card experience. If you're trying to follow a Revenant in his ult, just look for the shadow he casts while in it. The duration of the ability extends with each level, and it doesn't end when the enemy dies, allowing for easy repositioning if you chased your target. In the late game, you should either ult one of their softer heroes for an easy kill, or ult someone who normally has a good team fight, effectively taking him out of the fight for everyone but you. You can ult a Gideon, for example, and make it so that his ult doesn't affect anyone but you. Oh, 
Overall, Revenant is a very powerful marksman. In my opinion, he isn't overpowered, he just seems like it if he can get ahead with some early kills using his ult. He's easily countered, however, by champions who can either taint damage and still deal their own, such as Greystone, or assassins like Kalari or Countess. Just play safe with him early and get last hits. Coordinate with your support after you get your first card to get a kill with your ult in order to propel you ahead of the enemy team. Thank you for watching everyone and I hope you enjoyed my Revenant Spotlight. I hope you found it helpful. Feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, tell me if you want to see more Spotlight videos, more regular gameplay videos, or whatever. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.